Boxing on Channel 5. Defending his name, his legacy, Harlem Eubank. Battling his way up the super lightweight rankings. Can he remain undefeated? Big Fight Live, Eubank versus Uruskieta, Friday at 10 on Channel 5. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Ryan Cullen, 2 0, baby. How'd you find it? It was awkward. It just it was a last minute opponent, to be fair. Um, the boy we had sort of prepared for failed a eye test, so we had to get someone sort of short notice. And although the preparation was still the same as what we'd worked on, it was a wee bit harder because the height difference, he was five, five foot near enough. So having to punch down the way just made it a lot harder. And it was just it was quite difficult, but I got there in the end. It was. Shut out win, so I'm happy. Well, that's it. Being like you, I said to you in there as well that you are a tall flyweight. You're tall. You're five foot six, five foot seven, whatever it may be. But you are going to come across these guys that are going to be a lot shorter in stature. So for you, it's it's going to be the norm, so to speak. You are going to, but maybe not. He was very very short in stature. What did you say he was five foot, which is which is small when you're especially when you're trying to land the power shots and you're punching down. You can't really connect. Aye, that's pretty much how it is. I caught him. That ended up catching him a few good ones. I uh, thought he was going to go down the third day where I left it to the body but being that short he's obviously hunched over and the elbows are tucked in so you can't really land that sort of same shot again and it was it was difficult, it was a good fight though one that I, sort of, I would say I needed quite early on someone that's that tricky, small knows how to sort of close and hold and it's just a good experience, I'd say. The thing is, well, he was swinging big haymakers, and you knew they were coming because you you were tightening up yourself and trying to ride the shots and catch the shots in your gloves as well. So again, another learning fight. I definitely. That's, that's, the thing is, and I was, I was pulling out, but couldn't really get the counter off because I was pulling out too much. So ne next time we'll just work on it, just shorten up the pull to then catch back with counters. But other than that, I was happy with the performance. Yeah. Brian, I do have the privilege of. Uh, getting to see you train in the gym, I get to see you spar, so I do have the privilege with that. Now, I can probably say that you do carry a little pop in your shots. Now, obviously four rounds against tough journeymen that know how to survive, right. you, they're going to give you the rounds. So when you start moving on to these six rounds and guys that are coming in with this little bit of same ambition as you that are going to open up a little bit more, do you think we can probably see these knockdowns and how hard that you can truly hit? I would say so, why? Right? Because, well, I just hope that maybe the next few are a wee bit taller, at least my height, and don't make it awkward by holding as much. But other than that, I, we should see a few more power shots coming through next to next one. To be fair, Brian, for you to fight somebody that's no short, you're going to have to move up to Super Battle, mate. I mean, these flyweights are small. They are indeed. <laughs> but it's, it is hard, but it's been someone my height, 5'7", as a flyweight, it is difficult to find opponents. But if we need to move up to get decent opponents will we'll do it we'll just maybe have a wee sit down and talk about it I'm just looking a bit for Dom there maybe Dom will disagree with you there have you heard you say that oh well we we'll just need to talk over as a team and see what's, what fits what is the ambitions for you now I mean you're 2 and all. You're, you're, you've, I mean you've got two quick fights out of the way now you had one tail end the last year one now um, what's your ambitions for 2023 for the tail end of this year if we were doing this interview next year a year's on where would you like to see yourself um, it's hard to say really. I just I'm more taking each fight step by step and then see how my progression takes me gradually I'm no one to jump in at the deep end too quick or too late I just sort of just take it time and time but it's one of those things that will just Whatever harms will harm. Mm. So, you know, you know, there's a quiet man, and I think a lot of people know. And I think that's a testament because I think Danny and, and Dom and, and even me Martin was saying it as well that you're a quiet man, but you're probably the most, you're the coolest man as well. You might be quiet in there, but you're cool as a cucumber. Nothing phases you. Nothing, nothing. Even a crowd like that, you've got a good set of fans out there that come to watch you. They, they, you you're not phased. Nothing. I, I don't see any emotion in your face. I don't see no nerves. No nothing. You might crack a smile like you just did there, but that's about it. Aye, that's pretty much it. I don't, don't say much in the gym. Some you take the piss out of me in the gym? Aye, but that's quite easy, Andy. <laughs> so I get the wee the odd one in now and again. But other than that, I'm, I do sort of stay quiet, keep myself to myself sort of thing. And it makes it easier in the, in the changing room with Dom and Danny. and They're not worrying if I'm jumping about like an idiot mm. or anything like that. If I'm just 
cool and happy and no really phase, then they're happy, so makes it a lot easier. Definitely, and I, I, I can see that in the gym as well. Listen, congratulations, 2-0, and all, mate. Well Thank done, you. and uh, I'll see you in the gym Monday. Well done, <laughs> well done Ryan. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, up Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 